Hello, I'm Peter Clark, a partner in the Heenan Blakey Tax Department in the Toronto office. I'm here to talk to you for a few minutes about the March 21st budget, which was just released by Minister Flaherty in Ottawa. Now, let me say at the outset that if you're a careful taxpayer who pays your taxes in full and files all your returns, you don't have anything to lose sleep over. However, if you're the type of taxpayer who likes to indulge in exotic tax planning and purchase uh, unusual tax products, then I think you're going to see quite a change in your tax affairs. Essentially, the Canada Revenue Agency went to the Department of Finance and asked for some changes to shut down loopholes. Pretty much everything on CRA's wish list was granted by the government and those loopholes are now closed. Examples include uh, the shutdown of certain insurance products which were purchased with borrowed money and other insurance products which were linked with annuities. Uh, CRA did not like those products and they are gone. Uh, other changes you should be aware of, and this is a first for Canada, is a snitch line for people who report international tax evasion. A snitch can now receive a reward of up to 15% of CRA's recovery. It's unprecedented in Canada. Uh, another measure is Big Brother is watching you. Funds transfers out of Canada uh, in starting in 2015 will have to be reported to CRA in certain circumstances. This is designed to catch Canadians who are shipping money to offshore tax havens without telling CRA. On the positive side, there's relatively small measures. Uh, first of all, there's an enhanced uh, charitable tax donation for first-time givers. The amounts are very modest, but it's designed to create a, a tradition of philanthropy among young entrants to the workforce. Another measure is a slight increase in the capital gains exemption for small business shares from $750,000 to $800,000 plus indexing. That measure benefits uh, well-to-do small business people uh, but doesn't really impact the average Canadian. There's a plethora of other changes which are directed at specific situations including the use of trusts to avoid tax and various measures including corporations. Uh, there's also a fair amount of detail uh, changes to uh, non-resident taxes which will increase the tax burden of some individuals and corporations who are investing into Canada. Uh, I invite you to look at the Heenan Blakey tax communique which we will be generating today uh, to see further details regarding these measures. Thank you.